So yeah, I found this on, on, on Steam. It's new. This is the demo for it. It's not come out yet. The game comes out late 2024, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I've seen it on Steam. Yeah, it's available 2024. See it on Steam. Thought it looked quite cool. Thought we would uh, give it a go. The basic premise... Well, first of all, this is uh, Dungeon Tycoon. So, the basic premise is that, as far as I can tell, you build a dungeon. And you manage the dungeon. And you get, like, adventurers to come to your dungeon and they explore your dungeon, kind of thing. Um, but I thought it looked quite cool. And I thought we would give it a go and, and see what see what it was all about. So, without further ado, uh, I guess we'll, we'll jump in. Like I said, this is the demo. So, it is totally cool. Dungeon Pog. No, let's call it Barry's Basement. Where's Barry? Hey, Barry. Look, Barry's still here. Barry moved house and everything. Uh, difficulty. So we've only got normal and we've only got one map. But we'll play the tutorial and we'll see what is uh, what is going on with it. Barry's Basement. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello, Zogary. How's it going? Hey, that's a Minecraft spider. Come on. Come on, game. Welcome, Master. I'm delighted to see that you're finally awake. It has been quite lonely here without your presence. Uh, his place is a little mess, I know. But have no worries, we can fix it. We'll start attracting delicious adventurers in no time. This looks pretty cool. Little, little blocky themed kind of thing. Uh, let's start off by building a door. You can do that by clicking the build button on the lower left corner. Then select the door. Yep, and choose the door. The door to my teams. Okay, so what? Right click to spin the camera around. Right click to move the camera. Zoom. Oh, the camera controls are really quite... Wazda is slow, but the spinning the camera can be quite quick. That's quite jarring. Kind of similar to Anno controls. I've been playing a lot of Anno recently. Uh, what do we want? So we want a door. Oh, okay. It's like our, we're on a grid. That's quite cool. Room stats. Is that 100 walls? Can you guys see that? 100 walls, like right here. Not reachable. Lights, misc objects, mods. Oh, look at that little cart over there. Hey, the game looks pretty cool so far. I like the, I like the aesthetic of it. I like the way it looks. Who's this little guy? Who's that? Hey, we need to put a down a door. Dungeon door or wooden door? Hey, let's go dungeon door, why not? And I'm guessing we're we'll, we'll going to try and put it in the middle, aren't we? Next, let's build a chest to store loot of the fallen heroes and monsters. Okay, so loot containers, wooden chest. I'm guessing we can rotate it. How do we rotate? Uh, nope, not QE. Z hides the walls. How does one rotate the period? Nope. Well... Go to the spawner's tab, it's not spawner. What's the spawners? Spawners monster every 25 seconds. Sure. Very nice, but right now, I can hardly see anything. Tend to light up the place with some torches. Go to the light tab, build two wall torches. Two wall torches. One wall torch here. And we'll spin round, and we'll put one here. I knew you still had it. Uh, go to build mode, and assign me to the spawner. You can do that by clicking the spawner. Okay. So we give the spider the spawner. View monster. No. Go build mode, click on the spawner, click change. Click on the spawner and click change. Oh, change. It's right here. Probably. This feels amazing. Now you can decorate your dungeon to your liking. Time for some research. Start your first research. Oh, so there's a research tree. That's cool. I do like a research tree in games. It gives you something to kind of strive towards. And then by clicking on the book icon, on top of left, and then research notes. So there's research. Okay. Potion business? Or respawn pedestal? I'm guessing it wants me to do the potion. Don't forget to look at the quest panel, upper left corner of the screen. Start the next day whenever you're ready, upper right corner of the screen. Okay, cool. What we got then? Quick look around. 
We've got ours with the spider spawner and the chest. I, mean, I kind of wanted to know how to rotate that. Is it in the settings? Do they have keybind settings? I am aware that this is kind of early demo. It looks really nice to begin with, to start though. It's a good starting off point. We've got an overview here. Barry's basement. Entrance fee. Entrance fee. Bump that up. It's like roller coaster tycoon. Money earned. Enchantments. Okay. Beast theory. Discover. Okay. Research, finances, and quests. Oh, so you can wait. You, you can actually track your finances like roller coaster tycoon. That's kind of wild. Sell potions. Sell five potions or research one item in the research tree. I've done that. So why am I not getting my reward for that? Have I not done that? Are you sure you want to cancel? Oh, uh, it's in progress. Ah, research and nine visitors left. Okay. What says visitors, visitors, visitors. See that star rating on top? That's the prestige level. Okay, this one here. Of a dungeon. Uh, it will fill with a purple color as you build more and more impressive things in your dungeon. Your prestige level determines the quality of your visitors. As you attract visitors and manage to keep them satisfied, a gold color will start filling with your stars. That means your dungeon has proved itself to be a fun adventure and will determine the quantity of visitors. Okay, so purple is the quality and gold is the quantity. Okay. Is there anything else we can add? Please follow this. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, game. Let's wait for our first visitor. Okay. We're waiting. Oh, here he comes. Our first visitor. He's been allowed access for 10 gold. Ah! Oh my god, it killed him. I'm sorry, I'm too rough. When heroes die, they get really annoyed, and that can affect your dungeon popularity, popularity negatively. But hey, you earn a soul, and you can use that to do really cool stuff. Anyways, let's try this again. They just the spider just straight up killed him. Can I speed up? Speed up. Guessing if you make it difficult, yeah, it seems that way. Yeah, if you make it too hard, or you want to make it appealing so people want to come to your dungeon. Ouch, that hurt. But you see that happy adventure I got. Building a dungeon is about optimizing fun so the heroes keep coming. Yeah, so just what we're saying there, Fluffy, yeah. If you make it too difficult, people aren't going to want to come to your dungeon. Make sure to strike a good balance between keeping them happy and annoying them with cheeky traps. I guess you're ready to run your dungeon now. Don't forget, striking a good balance is key. Good luck, my lord. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So what, do the people keep... Oh, some, they do, they just keep coming. Hello, John Black. Coming for an adventure. Oh, let's get the RuneScape damage thing. It looks like RuneScape. He killed the spider. This looks like he was happy. He got some money. How do we see his, like, happiness level? Bit up. Wait, there's no spider. Oh, he was confused because somebody got the loot. How does this? How off? How long does it take to regen the loot then? Oh no! Oh, look at this wizard guy. Is he going to be confused because it's empty? So wait, can I put down? I'm guessing not. I'm guessing I need to end of the day before I do more with it. Hold on, let me see. Yeah. Seems that way. Let's speed things up. Get this researched and we'll, we'll go to the next day, I guess. Oh, he's an archer. Look. He was satisfied, but he's going to have nothing. Finish the day to unlock. Yes, we'll end the current day. Sorry, dungeon's closed. This is quite interesting. I'm liking this so far. What do you guys think? I think it looks cool. Uh, you've unlocked the potion dispenser. The potion dispenser allows visiting heroes to purchase potions whenever they need a quick heal. Visitor thoughts. I wish there were more monsters to kill. Too little monster variety. Horrible loot. Tip of the day, killing heroes will upset them, but it will also reward you with a soul, which you can use to do all sorts of things. Okay, so this is a satisfaction. We got one soul, we made 90 money, and we had 
30% satisfaction. Okay, so we need to figure out how to get more satisfaction and more more stuff. What's in here? Decoration, monster spawner. So wait, can I just build? Ah, okay. Interesting. What if we put a wall, a room here? R to rotate. I knew it would have been R to rotate. And we have this, like this. We'll put this one on the end here, like that. And we'll put this one here. I'll maybe expand out on the on the end and make a make a longer path. So we put a chest in this room and a chest in this room. Oh, oh, I can't afford that. Oh, uh, wait, and I don't have enough money. How do you build those? Okay, you get your money back. That's fine. Okay, we figured it out. Don't worry. We got it. Right, wooden door here. And here. I put monster spawner in. Can't afford that, but I can put torches in. Sure. Okay. I think we're ready for future day. Where was my monster spawners? Click to change monster. All I've got is spider. What the hell? Summon new monster. 250. Wait, so I've got... I just have no monsters now. That's kind of annoying. Um, no, let me do this then. I didn't realise things were going to be so expensive. To be perfectly honest. We'll put a chest in here. And a monster spawner, I guess. With some torches. Oh, I'm going to need doors. It's not that expensive for doors, that's fine. How do I select on this? Wait, I can't destroy the torch. I put the door next to it, it's fine. Uh, okay. Change. Summon monster. Summon. Choose one. Whoa! What is this? So these look the same. This looks like a skeleton. I think I want the skeleton. Wolves or skeleton. I got the skeleton. Okay. Let's put the skeleton in here. Why not, eh? Okay, let's see. Start next day. Here they come! He's getting the- wait, I need to watch it in normal time. Oh, he's going through. Wait, where's he going? He's fighting- he's fighting the skeleton. Oh god. Oh god! Oh, the skeleton killed him. That's- that's embarrassing. Now the skeleton's healed. Oh no. The the guys are all gonna they're all I could have got money. Everybody's gonna die. Aren't they? Oh get him. You're gonna get so much loot. Oh, I've messed up big time by having the skeleton in here. Oh, it's going to respawn, quick! You've got nothing in there, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, he did, he destroyed the skeleton. 
He did so well. And he's gone. Okay. I'm starting to get gold up here. Look. Rating, max rating. Oh, he attacks really slow. No, Albert. He got got. Oh, look at all this research. Unlocks nearby totems. Okay. It en enhances their attacks. So maybe put it in this room with the skeleton. He killed the skeleton and died. That's so unfortunate. We've all had times like that. Eh? We've all done stuff like that. How's this guy doing? He's got he's got decent health. Let's see. Let's get let's get through the through the day, huh? Oh, he's fighting on his way out as well. That's so unfortunate. These guys, they they were helping each other. Oh god, the skeleton's gonna get him. That's unfortunate. The skeleton in the 8x8 is killing too many people. It is killing too many people, you're right. He got out. That guy got out. No. Okay, so we need some kind of way. Monster, more monsters to kill. Hey, we had a 64% satisfaction there, though. How do we see the, the previous day? Souls. There's a currency overview. Wait, can I not see the previous day? I'm, I'm increasing the charge to get through the gate. Um, We need another... I need, an I need another monster because the skeleton's too strong, I think. Summoning a new one. Oh no, these look worse. Oh no, this guy has a shield? 20 health, 3 attack. They are not beaten. 3 and 8. They might be able to beat the go the go uh, the 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 the, 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 the goblin, maybe. Maybe I, I want to try it. I feel like it's got so much health. Let's put the goblin in the front room and put the spider in the back room. Let's see how that works. We need nine more visitors for our research. Um, I think we're doing well on this. A half the the rains. They said it fills up with purple, as the co oh. He didn't like the cost of getting in. That's not good. He paid. Oh, he he beat the goblin. He beat the goblin. That's a start. And he beat the sp the spider. Is he gonna beat the goblin on the way out? No, he didn't. Womp womp. He got beat. I think it's funny they use the runes, the OSRS, um, like, damage marker. Oh, he leveled up to tier 2. Damn, look, they're coming back. Leveled tier 2. So, do you think tier 2 are stronger? Is this guy tier 2? No, he's tier 1. You tier one? You're tier one. Oh, he got got right at the last. So I think if they're quick enough, they can. Oh, the spider got him. What's he? He's tier one. No. The goblin is too strong now. But if they kill it, they get so much XP. Look how much X this guy leveled up to tier two. 
He has so much. He's just so much strength and, and health. I see they're all helping each other now. That's good. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's in to steal the loot. <laughs> he came in and stole it all. Is he going to make it out? Oh, no. Ah. Oh, he... No, he never. My research is done, though. So I can increase the damage that they do now. Unlock the attack totem. Place it in your dungeon to give nearby heroes a better chance at survival. 62% satisfaction. More monsters to kill. We can do that. We can do that. How do we... So let's see. Potion dispenser. Attack totem. I mean, we can put down, put down an attack totem. This will help them... This will help them fight that goblin, at least. Let me... Bulldoze the light. And... Bulldoze... This light. To get money. So that I can put down the potion vendor. And... Here. And then that way they can buy potions when they're... If they're low. I think we can make money from the potions. Oh my god, you can, look. You make money from the potions, that's actually kind of cool. So you go in, you do loads of damage to them, you force them to then buy potions. Is he going to buy? <laughs> okay. Okay, quite liking this. Quite liking this. You going to make it out? Oh, he's in the order. Good stuff. You buying? Are they all going to buy potions? Because that's kind of crazy. Oh, they are. They are all juicing up. We're going to make money today. We're going to make money today. John Jackson teared up. Let's go, John Jackson. And he's got a health pot. Fair health potion prices, he says. So five, five's a good cost for my health pots. What about six? Is six a good cost for my health pots? Attack buff. Sprint debuff. Oh, he passed because it was six. What did he say then? Does he think it's too expensive? He doesn't say anything. Ah, uh, they're all passing now. Six, five is five is a good price for it. Making money? Yeah, we're making money. Wait, I thought I changed it. I did. They just seem to be passing on the, the health pots now. People are leveling up. People people are buying health pots. This guy, oh, he's just... He didn't even care about the, the chest. He didn't care. Lock the chest. I wish there were more monsters, incredible loot, too little monster variety. Killing heroes will upset them, yeah, yeah. 78% satisfaction, let's go. They liked that, didn't they? New research, what we get? Stone props, more monsters. More rooms. Wait, so I've got a limit on how many monsters I can have. Unlocks a camping spot for heroes to stay a while and rest. Kill them all, what? No. Sell some souls in return for 350. No thanks. Unlocks a variety of stone objects. I think maybe we'll do... Ah. Let's get the camping spot. If we get the camping spot, we can get a whole bunch of people in. And... Uh, we can get a whole bunch of people in and start to... Get them to stay longer. Because if they stay longer, they're going to fight more. See, they've got money to spend there buying the health pots. They don't know about this secret wall here. There maybe needs to be a bit more name variety. Sire Black, Albert Jackson, and John Jackson. I'll keep coming back. Albert Jackson again. 
So I wonder how we... I wonder how we get more money quicker. We have quite a big space to build in. So this could be quite... You could get it to be quite cool or quite big and complex. Somebody in? Yeah, we've got some in now. He's making it. They're all they're all quite strong now. Now that I've got this damage buff, they're all they all seem to be making it through this first room quite easily. You know? And killing a spider's not really much much hassle for them, is it? Okay, there we go. There's the end of the day. See, I've only got 344. That's not a lot of money. I'm not getting enough money quick enough. What can we do here? Trap? Spike trap? Oh, oh, come on. We have to do this, huh? We need to do this. Spike trap in front of the door. I need more money. You might call me greedy. I need more money. Um, should I put a pot in here? Sure, why not? Monster spawners 200, but this is going to be... I'm, wor I'm worried this is going to be too much of a challenge for them, you know? Or do we add two monster spawners in this first room now? That's, that sounds evil. This sounds a bit, a bit evil. Unless, hold on, what, what if we make it the... What if we make this the goblin and the spider? And we put the skeleton back in this last room. How does this work? Okay, let's see how this goes on. Start day. Super fast forward. Oh, he doesn't have the dam- I don't, I don't think he's got the damage buff. No, he didn't. See, he does have the damage buff. Hey buddy, you gotta do that, yep. I think if they get into the damage zone, it needs to be moved a block back the way towards the door. But they're fine if they get into the damage zone. And then they can buy a health pot. Is this damaging people? Well, it looks to be. I don't quite know, understand how this works. Oh, that did damage him when he walked through the door. There, there's three damage. I don't know if it's going to damage this person here. Yeah, five damage to him. So it does work. <gasps> Wait, we've got a quest done. Potions. Yes. Mushrooms? What are these for? You've unlocked mushrooms. Okay. Kill seven visitors, research one item in the research tree. Okay, we'll get that done. They seem to be making it quite consistently now. That very first guy that came in and then fought both of them because he was standing too far back, that was unfortunate. They do seem to be getting through, however. Which isn't bad. Hey, you can change the theming of this as well. That's cool. Satisfaction impact. 41%. A loot goblin's appeared. Click to kill it. What the hell? But it's the end of the day. I missed the loot goblin because of my research. More monsters. Too little monster variety. I can't believe I missed the loot goblin because of my research. What's this? Wooden decoration. More visitors. Permanently gain one extra visitor. Ooh, that'd be good. One extra visitor per day is more money. Let me move this. Can I move this? Disable? Enable? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I'm not in build mode. Move it to here. Camping spot. What I want to do is build like another or a little room here. And then have this pathway going off this way. But I can't afford that. Let's get a doorway. I can't afford the camping spot, but there's nothing in this, is there? Lighting. 
Should I put a pot at the end of this? All of this for a pot? That's kind of Dark souls isn't it? To have a pot at the end of that and nothing else. And do you know what's worse? There's going to be nothing in the pot. It's going to be empty half the time. <laughs> There's going to be no loot in it at all. What we got? So, okay. Money. Ooh, money. Kill seven, sell eleven potions. Okay, cool. We're, we're working on that. Start the next day. Oh, look at that. Easy. So easy for him. He's going to get that. He's going to go all the way along here. Nothing in there. What we'll do after is get them to have a camping site up here and they can camp up there. They all seem to be kind of walking right through just now. No, no hassles. Oh, somebody died. Never mind. Never mind. That guy died. That guy would have been me if I was in this dungeon. He would, I'd have died. You got a duty? Oh god, again? You're gonna you're gonna finish the entree by tomorrow. No joke. They all seem to be making it. That's the hundred. Really? Oh, good lord. Finish on earth. It wasn't much me. Oof. I mean, fair play. Love you have just ran right through that whole expansion, which is fair enough. That guy could use a heal, but there's a healing pots right here, buddy. Buy the buy the pots. I oh, died to the trap. <laughs> that guy died to the trap. Are these the last two guys? So it's interesting. Not everybody seems to check the uh, the pots and stuff. Oh, he died. Womp womp. Extra visitor. Let's go. Dungeon will apparently try to plus one. Seventy-two percent satisfaction. More monsters use a heal. Well, there's a healing thing right here you could have had. Oh, there's only five pots in it. Is that it? Ah, there's only five pots. Let's unlock more rooms. And I'll put down my... Let's see here. Let's get my money back for that. And we'll put down the camping spot in here. Where was the... What are, what are these? Decorations? Is that it? Where was the juice box? Potion dispenser here as well. Yo, Tumaneer, how's it going, man? Welcome in. Welcome in. How you doing? Start day 16. We should finish this research in a day, which is good. How's this first guy going to get on here? Oh, <gasps> he made it. And he got a health pot. Okay, so maybe they weren't... Um, maybe they weren't just rejecting the cost. It was just too expensive. Or it, they just ran out. Life's wild? Good lord. Do you care to share or is it just crazy? Too crazy for that. Got a haircut? Yeah, I got a haircut last week. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I was at a wedding at the weekend. It was very nice. Very good time, so I had to get a haircut for the wedding, you know. Is that are they camping out here? Is that what's going on up here? Potion dispenser has run out of stock. That's the first time we've got that warning. Hey, look, he's chilling. Health pot prices are kind of expensive. Yeah, well, this one's expensive. This one's only six. And look, they're chilling at the campfire. You know what? This makes me want to play. This makes me want to play Barony so bad. We, me, Amy and I played Barony and it was actually... Like, I've played it before and it was rough. It was so difficult playing as like a one-player game, and then we played co-op, and it was so good. 
like playing it co-op was, was so much more enjoyable. This makes you want to play Clank? Hey, we can do. We can play Clank. No, I just finished writing your opponent and continue working on my novel. You started working on a novel five years ago? Holy. That's a long time. That is a long time. Are you close to finishing it? Or are you are you nowhere near finishing it? Research complete. We now have an eight by six and an ten by eight room. Nice. Okay. But I get I've got more research actually. Hold on. Prestige. Buffs hero satisfaction on entrance. Uh yeah. I'll be taking that. Quests. Click, 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 click. Spider eggs. So close, you've got 20, <laughs> you've got 20 pages. <laughs> Nicely done, man. Nicely done. Look at the size of this room. Holy moly, that's a big room. Let me do this. Can I link these up? Oh, you can. Look at this. Look at this. Huh? What I want to do, actually, I want to move all of this one over. Like that. I want to move this over as well, but I can't. Can I like select multiple things? No. That can go there. This can go there. Can I move this room? How does one move the room? Put the door there. How do you move a room? Can I not? Great art, takes time. Great art does take time, you're right man, you're right. These guys ain't painting that stuff in a day, you know? Can I get a way through this door? No. I kinda messed this one up. Don't know. This one needs to move. This needs to be here, like that. Yeah, that is better, look. And we can have a door there and a door there. And one singular wall torch. So this is a psych out room, but this is a, a safety room. How's about that, huh? It is a little bigger. Start day, let's go. Wait, that guy died? How? Come on, Ice Wizard. Nice, good job. Where are you going, huh? Ooh, going for a little rest, huh? So is he going to come back now and then like explore the rest of the oh, here he comes? Yeah, he's coming back to explore the rest. Look. Okay, so they they kind of randomly shoot, pick and choose a direction, um, and and what and what to do and stuff. So that's not so bad. Sire Jackson leveled up. There's there none left in this. Is there some left? In, no, oh, there's none left at all. People really do be hogging the potions, huh? People really be hogging the potions. Oh, he died! He died. This is cool because it's it's different to like your standard kind of roguelike game. This is like a dungeon building game, which is so much more interesting than like a like a, this the normal dungeon crawler games that you play. It's quite it's a bit roguelikey. It's a bit kind of fun. It's good. I'm enjoying this. That's pretty cool. I'm excited to see how far this goes, you know? I reckon it will do pretty well. Oh, that guy died. Are you going to make it? Oh, the skeleton got them both. That's unfortunate. Where's the Hitman stream? The Hitman stream is after Fallout London, which is after Elden Ring. Your dungeons increase in prestige. Visitors now feel mysterious joy when entering the dungeon. Okay. 78% satisfaction. Hey, we're getting there. We're getting there. More rooms too. More rooms. More monsters. More monsters. More rooms. Defense totem. Let's put a defense totem in. About 26. Eh. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it depends when we go back to Elden Ring. Nah, we're going back to Elden Ring soon. Don't worry. Uh, Hitman. Uh, actually, I have been playing Hitman. It's really good. Enjoy it. What are these for? We've not discovered a... A use for these. 
finances overview what does this mean death ratio 29 percent satisfaction 73 oh we're in the green we're in the green for satisfaction almost in the green for death percent that must be pretty good but a no rush good stuff we'll get there we'll get there it's a matter good things take time like you said to me here art takes time doesn't it so we just need to remember that when uh, when we're waiting for the hitman streams it's going to be art like you've never seen art before you know let's put some torches in here it's quite dark isn't it another torch in here we can get a torch in there I can put down some spider eggs. Ugh. Scary. Do I want another potion machine? I think maybe yes. Because that's money. Potions are money. Another wooden chest? Or a pot maybe? Pot in this corridor. That works. And a pot in this corner. I don't have any monsters with monster spawn, so there's no point in putting monsters down. Uh, we can put another spike trap, I guess. Right here. Or actually, how do I like to move this? To this doorway. <laughs> okay, let's see. Start next day. Start next day. Right, reading the Japanese novels inspires you to pick up working your own novel. You quite like writing, despite it being a translation. Oh, so you're writing it in, obviously, like you're writing it in English versus your native language. That's quite cool. Is that a better thing to do than writing it in your native language and then translating it? If so, why? Why is that the case? Give me the designs here. Oh, they are, look, they are grabbing all the potions. That guy not got enough money? Oh, womp womp. You poor man. Oh, I thought they were- I thought this guy was gonna die, look at this! That guy ain't got no health. I thought he was dead. He's chugging that potion. He, he bought two potions? He leveled up. How's he, how's he getting on? How's this guy? Look at this guy, he's running. Such a prestigious dungeon. My dungeon's prestigious. Surely that's good. What does this guy think? This guy also thinks he's prestigious. Wait, they all think it's prestigious. They all think it's prestigious. Such a prestigious, but he's like, no satisfaction. Oh, this guy's fighting the skeleton. He's dead. Rip. That guy got more loot than the first guy that looted the chest. He didn't do a very good job, did he? Nothing, nothing. Oh, he's resting. Getting his stamina back. Oh, he died on the way out. Surely he's not going to die. Yeah, he made it. Nice. What do we unlock? The defense totem. You've unlocked the defense totem. Place in your dungeon, giving you about heroes a better chance at survival. 83% satisfaction. Beautiful. Beautiful. 250 money, 16 visitors. That's not bad. That's not bad. What do we get? What do we get? We're in the green just. Oh, we're on the line of, of death ratio. And our satisfaction is climbing. Good stuff. Well, there we go, folks. That is a look at... Dungeon Tycoon. I actually quite liked it. I thought it was quite cool. Maybe play it again. Maybe continue my dungeon. Uh, I quite liked it. It was, it was interesting. It's different from like your normal roguelike game. Quite simple to get. Maybe hard to master. Trying to find that balance between what's too difficult for people and too difficult for adventurers coming in but being too easy for them where it's got like a low satisfaction, you know. Uh, I seem to be doing quite well with the satisfaction climbing at the end there. So that was 10 days. We can discover an enhancement of some kind, um, but we'll maybe leave that for next time. 
And for those of you watching on YouTube when this eventually gets done to the video, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. If uh, if you enjoyed this, come check us out live. Play more like play more games like this and and try more demos and play a bunch of whole different games. So uh, thank you guys for watching and hit subscribe if you're enjoying it. <laughs>